And welcome back to You Rejoin at 120. Here with uh, me, I guess Jeff Cliff. And uh, this uh, series, as kind of explained in previous videos, which I do recommend you start watching as we get further and further into this series, uh, is a list of 120 things that I learned uh, while taking a computer science degree at the University of Regina. Uh, I'm here in uh, beautiful Thunder Bay, Ontario, uh, home base, uh, trying to uh, get these ideas through to the internet at large. So, uh, today's topic of discussion is NAND, or the NAND gate. Uh, this is a type of electronic component. This is a, a logical thing in logical circuits uh, that can be implemented in physical circuits, but it's also a, a, a logical relationship, uh, even in software, between two input, I guess, data uh, and that gives you an output based on them. So it's it's all three of these things. It is a very simple concept. And how this concept works is if you have both pins of the, the, the actual physical NAND gate uh, with high voltage, then the result is low voltage. Otherwise, the result is high voltage no matter what comes in. So just kind of graphing out the voltage coming in. So this is the hot or the voltage at the A pin, and this is the voltage at the B pin. The output voltage will be low when the two voltage input pins are high and high otherwise. Simple enough. Uh, if we're looking at this in terms of software, if the two values that come in are both true, then this A NAND B returns false. Otherwise, if A or B uh, is not true, then A NAND B returns false. So, uh, what what does this uh, kind of give us? It, it's just a, a simple thing that you can to do. But uh, the uh, so so w w what does this give us? Uh, well, it turns out it gives us quite a bit. Uh, you can actually write any program that can be made for a computer, for any computer, entirely in terms of expressions of this form, of, of using no other operation other than NAND, using no other data than the data your program would normally have to start with at all. So any program you have could have been written entirely in NAND operations. Uh, that is a handy thing to know. Uh, you also looking at hardware. If you're looking at digital hardware, when we're purely talking about the logic involved, so we're not talking about the, the control, the kind of the analog aspects of the circuit. We're looking entirely about control of a system and control of what gets low voltage and what gets high voltage. You can generally do an entire circuit using nothing but NAND gates. This, this is a, a powerful thing that you now have available to you, this NAND operation or NAND gate. If you, I mean, wanted to, you could, of course, write a program, an entire operating system using NAND gates, but don't. This is actually not a very good idea. Uh, it would take a long time uh, and would be about as insane as building an Eiffel Tower by melting little tiny iron filings one by one and putting them in the right place. You would probably want to do something more along the lines of write your own machine language using NAND, and then using that machine language, go on and do more complicated things. But you could. There's, there's nothing logically stopping you from doing everything with NAND. It, 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 it's, it's just this powerful of a concept, of a tool, of a basic component of your tool set to have access to. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's it gives you the, the ability to write any program. But on the downside, if you do only use NAND operations, 
your program may end up being quite long. And as discussed in previous videos, if your program is quite long, that means it could very well be complex and slow and, and may actually take a lot of memory to use and to run and to store in memory so that it can be run. And so even if though you could, doesn't mean you should write a program entirely in NAND gates. Uh, it, it, it's a very complicated thing to do. Um, and just as an example, uh, I, I did kind of write a, a small uh, expression using only NAND gates, and it good, took a good 10 minutes to do so. Although I'm kind of out of practice, it, it's, it's very uh, difficult to use. Uh, but it is something that can be used. It's, it's all you need, in fact, to do computer programming. Uh, you can, of course, build and use more, more useful things, but it's like having a hammer. When you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you have a NAND gate, everything looks like it's possible all of a sudden to solve using logical operations. So just as an example of something you could build uh, with a NAND gate or a NAND operation is an adding circuit or an adding program, something to take two numbers stored in binary form and to give you the answer stored in binary form of those two numbers being added together. That circuit will include as one of its bits the output bit, the first output bit between two numbers added together. And although I'm not going to prove that this is actually true, this is what that bit looks like written in the hand gate. N is represents the NAND of the two arguments passed into it. Uh, so in this case, bits B and D are our input two input bits of B plus D, the very first bit of B and the very first bit, uh, or, or at least the last bit. When written that way, it's the last bit. So, so if B is 0000001 000 000 000 000 000 000 and D is 0000001, 000 000 000 000 000 000 these two bits right here are the B and D in this equation here. So, this is entirely NAND, NAND operations applied to these two particular Boolean bits. I should probably have a, a different number for these. So if NB is this byte and ND is this byte, then this single bit is B, this single bit is D. You plug those bits into this ginormous equation of NAND commands or, or NAND operations, and you will get. the output bit of those two bits being added. Uh, again, so th this is just one of many, many, many things of all of the, the potential programs that you could write. It is, it is or, or all of the potential circuits that you could build that, that employ and implement logic. All you need to do this is NAND. Just like, you know, all you need is love, all you need is NAND. It's, it's, it's there for you, it's, a, it's there available for you. Of course, Having more than NAND will make this much easier, much more plausible that you'd ever actually accomplish anything other than a toy example like this. But again, you know, just having that power, that, that ability to do to, to do functionally anything, you know, you now have that power. Go go forth and do cool things with it. Uh, and you know, it, 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 it you know, just as a last point, 
it should be pointed out that, in fact, uh, a lot of our hardware is made using nothing but a whole bunch of grid, uh, or, or a large grid of NAND gates hooked up together, hooked up to either all of each other or to uh, as many of their neighbors as possible, and then having the, the connections burned that you do not want to use. And so it, it's kind of like a subtractive manufacturing thing, where you start with a whole bunch of NAND gates connected to each other, you wind up with a, a, a program implemented in the hardware itself that uses nothing but NAND gates, has some of the links, the original links removed, using leaving only the links that you want, leaving only the program or the, the, the set of commands that you end up desiring. This is how, uh, uh, at least in some cases, circuits end up being made. So, um, again, this is uh, your Regina 120. Uh, if you have any questions about NAND or would like another example, although, you know, don't ask for too many more examples because they are kind of difficult to do. Um, feel free to ask uh, or, or comment in any thread where this video is posted. Um, th this is a, a, a tool that you should definitely have in your toolkit. Um, so go go see if you can you know, find this in your programming language or find this in your kind of hardware design program or, or whatever it is you're using to design logic with. Try to find where NAND is and if you can't find it, implement it yourself. Go look at the, the definition on Wikipedia if, if this video isn't clear enough. And, and see if you can make it work, because having this tool is a very, very valuable thing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you next time.